hard work always pays off. Six, seven. You might not be the most talented player or individual or athlete, but if you want something bad enough, you'll find a way to make it happen. It was school, football, sleep. I mean, that's all he did, all four years. He's like a very quiet person, but then on the football field, he's two totally different people. We always say you have to be prepared. So once that opportunity comes, you grab it, it won't let it go. He has this mindset of being like on a one-way train. He has his vision and his end goal. Nothing's gonna get in the way of that. My family was incredible in my journey. My parents, they've given up so much of their time and so much sacrifice and so much commitment to both my brothers and I's sports careers. One thing my parents really instilled on us was like opportunity. Taylor and I is like first generation Americans, like America's land of opportunity, right? They really instilled in us, you can be whatever. If you want it, you go get it. Because I always believe if you have a dream or you have your goal, you know, you try everything trying to reach it, right? And don't try to think, oh, should I do this? You know, how am I going to do it if I don't do it? Because that's only going to leave you regrets. As a young tailor, I knew I wanted to pursue sports. We worked a lot. We enrolled them into a lot of different activities, trying to keep them busy. When he was five, when he was six, when he was seven, he was just waiting for that day that he could go and play for a team and actually play football. He hung out with all my friends and he was just as competitive and just as physical. And so it was like a little embarrassing that that was my little brother. My brother and I, we have always loved like Saturdays watching college football and like we would dedicate everything we did to reach that goal of playing college football. Ready, go. Open. Break. You know, that was right around the rise of YouTube, so you could find film of NFL practices, and I was like, okay, let's just go remake these drills. We literally go to the field at midnight or like one in the morning, and run routes together, do drills together, and like dedicated our whole entire lives to football. Open. Break. People ask me a lot, when did you know he was going to be, you know, an NFL player? you know, let alone a Division I college player. I said, never, never, not here, not in our town. I knew I was up against the odds and I knew that not a lot of players get recruited out of this city this far up north. In terms of college scouts, he never had one guy come to any of his high school games. The support in the community and the school for football was pretty non-existent. So he had to have so much self-motivation. My whole life I've been doubted. You don't see a lot of Asian Americans in professional sports, let alone football. I use that as a driving force and like, you know, I, screw it. Like I, then if, if there's no one, then like, why, why can't I do it? Taylor is not words, Taylor's actions. The drive, the ability, the athleticism. And he'd study like nobody other. People only see him on game days. They don't see all the work he puts in, all of the hours he puts in. He works hard, but he's super humble and progress-wise, I mean, he's Wolverine, man. Straight up, straight down, explosive. Okay. Maybe not. I told you. I told you. I think I broke it. <laughs> it has finally all come together. I started getting recruited out of high school. It was all from film and going to camps. But I still had one more step of getting to the professional ranks. Three games in, he was like a starter, and then all the accolades just like stacked up his freshman year. I think that's when we all were like, okay, he can, he can play in the NFL. 
As an Asian mom, I never really thought I would raise the kids to be like NFL players. All I wanted to just go to college, <laughs> finish college, get a, degree, uh, get a degree, and then get a very meaningful job. Getting drafted, it was an amazing feeling. Just being able to live out my dream and show that Asian Americans can, can play in the NFL and rise to, to the top. When I first started getting her out here, she, she, I don't think she was able to throw it five yards. I just learned how to throw a football, so <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. I play QB1 in the off season. I am there for Taylor every single day. If he wants to go to the gym and needs help there, I'll go. If he needs to go to the field at seven in the morning, I'll be there. I'll throw the ball as best as I can for him. You know, It's probably good for him to have some wonky spirals. She's been amazing, supports me in everything I do, keeps me accountable in everything I do. When Taylor had his first game in LA, I don't think I've ever been more excited in my life. He made it, he did what he wanted to do. Like all the hard work has like like paid off. Like he's he's in the NFL. Okay, ready? Throw it over. <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. Reason why I quit. <laughs> hey, good luck this season. Thank you. Makes you home proud. Thank you, bro. What's so unique about me is nothing's ever enough. I'm always shooting for more. <laughs> that mentality of constantly driving himself to get better and better and better is, is what will make him great. Now that he's at his lifelong goal of playing in the NFL, he's set higher goals. And he's setting goals outside of sports. Every kid that has dreams of playing professional sports, like they have a role model that they can easily relate to or connect to. And I didn't have that role model or someone to look up to as a kid. What really drives me and inspires me is, you know, I, I want to be that beacon and that, that role model to look up to. His DMs are full of little kids just asking for advice, how he did it, like what, what they should do, how to be like him. Hundreds and hundreds of messages saying how much of an inspiration I am to them and it's bigger than football and it's bigger than just me. What I'm like really proud of is you know the, how true he is to everyone around him and himself still. The moments that stand out for me isn't about football. It's about who Taylor is. He wants to change the narrative for Asian Americans. He wants to make huge impacts for kids that grew up in small towns or impoverished cities that don't know that they can do what they want to do. That's my story of growing up here in Bellingham and playing college football and then getting to the NFL and being Asian American and really breaking the barriers of that because how bad I wanted it. No one should ever let anyone tell you what you can and can't do, whether that's you want to be the damn president or astronaut or play professional sports. If you really want something, dedicate your whole entire lives to that goal and you know, I think you'll be happy with the outcome.